Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about uh, another interview question which is how do you handle a tight deadlines in software testing or it could be any project we can say without compromising on the quality. That is the question here. So how do you take care of this question? How will you answer this question? So I have made a detailed points on how to handle the tight deadlines in software testing in a certain way. So first thing let me discuss. The first thing is what we should do is we should understand the scope as well as we have to prioritize each task because it is a strict deadline then we should, without having proper understanding or prioritization it would be a very difficult to complete the project on time. For that we should identify the critical and as well as non-critical functionality and we should focus on high critical functionality that is going to impact the end user. That is the first thing we should do. We should prioritize the overall testing scope. For example, in a given mobile application from the banking side, here yeah, the main priority of the functionality is login functionality fund transfer as well as transaction history features over non-critical UI enhancements. These are the certain way if we prioritize the critical functionality, if we focus on critical functionality that is very important to the end user, our job becomes very easy as a first step in order to meet the tight schedule. And the second one is we should always adapt for risk-based testing. This is very important in any form of software testing at this juncture with the limited resources both in terms of human as well as hardware resources. Here we should allocate higher risk uh, components or modules to the tester than low risk areas. Usually how can we identify the risks associated with each module is like working with the stakeholders so identify those risks early. For example, for an e-commerce platform where we should prioritize the functionality like payment gateways or of high risk areas, card functionality, order processing. These are very important than less critical like profile or customization. So based on that, we should adopt the risk-based testing strategies also another way we can deliver the product or application in a quicker time. And the third option we should try doing is optimize the test case design. This is also a very important uh, way of uh, reducing the overall testing effort that is by designing a very concise or high impact test cases that covers multiple scenarios. That is uh, the third thing we should Right. Rather than writing a detail or exhaustive or redundant ones, also we should see by optimizing the good test case design. For example, here the combining the test cases for login validation and uh, testing correct credential or inc incorrect credential or boundary condition in a single session so that uh, we can cover up uh, this test case execution in a quicker manner. The fourth this step is parallel testing is also very crucial here. We should distribute the testing tasks among team member or using parallel testing environment to test multiple features simultaneously. That is the thing here. In order to deliver the things very quickly, we should go for parallel testing as well. For example, in a cloud-based SaaS sub product, one has to assign a team member to test the UI, another team to validate the API testing so that they run both the processes concurrently so that uh, we can deliver the software in a very quicker manner if you do parallel testing. And the fifth option we should try is utilizing the exploratory testing. This is very crucial where we do not have enough time we should adopt this exploratory testing. Here we are going to encourage the tester to perform the exploratory testing focusing on discovering of the defects quickly without uh, executing the predefined test scripts in this uh, testing. 
If we adopt this exploratory testing, definitely we can complete our test execution in a quicker manner. For example, while testing a social media app, if you've taken any social media app, if you wanted to test that, you should explore new feeds, notification, user settings to identify the unexpected issues. If you do exploratory testing by exploring the application, it could be any application in that per se, we can easily identify the quicker defects by following this uh, methodology. And the sixth one is, this is very crucial, we should go for automation as well, not just depending on the manual testing, we should leverage our test automation effort as well by choosing the right tools uh, in handling uh, repetitive or time consuming tasks so that uh, we can save enough time as well as we can ensure consistent result in our testing. And if you take an example, automating a regression testing using Selenium for a web application while focusing on manual testing on new or complex feature. That is how we or should balance where uh, automation regression test we should go for uh, Selenium and uh, remaining complex, we can still do a manual uh, testing for new or complex feature. That is also help us to deliver the things in a quicker manner. The seventh uh, important uh, aspect here is that you should maintain a proper communication between all the stakeholders as well as collaboration between them. This is very crucial because if you wanted to if you wanted to deliver the software testing project in a quicker manner, you should have a regular communications with the various stakeholders and project manager to address the blockers as well as reprioritizing the task dynamically. If you are not doing this, then we may not be able to meet the tight schedule. Here, we should ensure that we should have a regular communication plan and collaboration with the various stakeholders so that we can get resolved the things in a quicker manner. And if you take an example, if a feature is delayed due to development issues, communicate this with the team as well as adjust the test plan. If we do this way, definitely there are higher chances that we can still manage the delivery in a tight schedule. Eighth method is you should use defect clustering. Here we are going to apply Perot's principle, which is 80 bar 20. Here our focus of testing on the modules where most defects are likely to occur. We are going to focus on maybe certain 20% of the models where we get 80% of the defects. That's how you should focus and uh, within a lesser time, you should be able to find more issues and by fixing that, we can release the product in a quicker manner. That is the eighth method we should adopt. And the ninth method we should adopt is, we should definitely go for adoption of a test management tool like uh, Jira, test trial or Jeffa to track all the test deliverables, including test cases, their progress as well as defects perspective. Because these different tools like Jira, which gives a complete dashboard to monitor the testing progress, as well as uh, we can reassign the task if the deadlines are at the risk. Everything you can do very thoroughly in these uh, test management tools. And the tenth one is continuously monitoring the various quality metrics that is also guarantees us that we are going to deliver the product in a quicker manner in a, within a tight schedule. Here we should keep tracking various testing metrics like defect density or test coverage or pass rate to ensure testing efforts are meeting the quality standard. If you monitor these quality metrics, definitely we can meet the delivery of tight schedule. I hope uh, you guys got a clear idea on how to meet the tight deadline by following these 10 important uh, different ways so that if we follow this, all these 10 different ways, definitely we can meet our tight schedule or tight uh, deadline and still we can deliver the high quality products or applications. I hope you guys got a clear idea now. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys really like this video, please click on like button. If you guys are not subscribed, do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.